hey guys welcome to coding simplified and today we'll see about the stacks like what is stacks and how we can implement stacks using array so basically stacks work on last in first out so whenever whenever we insert the elements so we keep on inserting element and whenever we uh, we remove the element so we remove always from the top right so that is we call first out the last in and first out right so the last element will be out at first okay so how we implement so what we will do we'll cap we'll keep a variable top so as soon as we insert the uh, at the starting top will be zero right so as soon as we uh, as soon as we keep starting the values will increase the top right and till we reaches the length of the array because in array is a static so at the starting we give the maximum length of array like what could be the maximum length of stacks so let's say if i say the maximum length of stack is 5 so as soon as we reaches the 5 we say now stack is full means it is overflowing so uh, it won't insert value right and whenever we are removing so we just check that whether the stack uh, is empty or not so if top equals to 0 then we say that the stack is empty else it is non empty and we can remove the element right so uh, how we have imp implemented this is my main class when where i am inserting so stack array is basically class where where i have kept all my functions so uh, what i am doing at the starting i am taking top equals to zero and this is my maximum so maximum is the maximum length to which i can insert so i have created an array of maximum length 5 right and uh, so let's start so basically when i'm inserting so let me put a debug point so that i will start and will tell you how it is operating so when i'm inserting first it is going here right first it checks that whether the uh, stack is full or not so how it checks it basically simply check with top because this is a variable which i am uh, keeping track of so it's checking if top equals to max then written true as written false so right now it is zero so it's not full now uh, so what it will do it will store top which is zero so it will the store at the first index and it will increment the top so it will increment now again when five will insert so it will check that whether it is full or not so it's not full so again now it will insert at the position of first index and it will increment top right same with 34 42 and 91 now five values have been inserted now let's check so now it will check that top is 5 and maximum equal to 5 so it will say mm, yes it is full now so it will say stack is full and return so it means it it hasn't inserted the 9 right now let's say if we are removing so when we remove we first check that whether this stack is empty or not so if top equals to equals to 0 it means we have not inserted any value right so it means value is empty so in this case value is not empty so what we do first we decrease the top and then we return the value so it will remove the last value right and then we can say that it has removed the 91 which was the last element now let's say again if we insert the 9 so now it would be insert because the size was 4 now let's say if we again remove and we keep on removing the element so this was first element 9 then 42 then 34 then 5 then 12 so you can see in the reverse order we are removing the element right so we inserted the 12 at the first so now it, it has removed at last but let's say again we are removing so it will say now top is 0 it means my stack is empty so stack is empty and return minimum value right so now let's say if you want to check the top element like what is the top element in stacks and if you say like this one where you want to calculate the top so let's put a debug point here and let's go here so first it checks that whether this is empty or not 
so if it is not empty so it will go here and it will simply return the top right so top is very easy we just we need to just return the uh, the top value so basically we at the last we increase the top so that is why we are checking that a top minus one that's it right so that's it guys that's all about stacks and all operations we are doing in big of one because we have the top variable so we are directly accessing that top variable index and we are returning the value or we are inserting the value so this is very good uh, functionality because we are doing in big of one and these are all operation of stacks using array so that's it guys and if you if you see any issue then please put in comments or uh, if you have liked the video if you have got your answer then please like the video and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you